Hi, I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, I am the founder of Love Yourself Fearlessly. I am also the author of Happy Anywhere, the guide to overcoming anxiety, depression, and unhappiness without a pill. So today I want to talk about how do we find someone to love us well, the answer is we have to take care of us first because when you think about it, someone will look at us and if we aren't eating properly, if we're not exercising, if we're not, you know, take caring, taking care of this body, wearing things that make ourselves feel good, getting enough rest, then how on earth can we expect someone else to want to take care of us. I know for the longest time, I looked outside of myself for love. I was looking for someone else to do it for me. So I wanna talk a little bit about self-care because taking care of us is so important. And you know, the older we get, the more important it is. But if you haven't been doing it all along, there may be a little bit of a grind or a little bit of a hill. And hi, thanks for watching. Let me see, hi Marika, hi Shannon. So one of the things that my son Adam has been trying to get me to do is do smoothies. And so I started doing smoothies on Saturday. I did one Saturday night. Now I'll tell you about the smoothie. So I got this fabulous protein powder he recommended and it's got sprouted everything in it. And the key to, to the ingredients is it's organic, but it's also sprouted. So, um, it, you know, it's pretty pricey, but I'll tell you, you know, if it's a meal replacement, think about how much you would spend on meat at the grocery store. And I've given up meat and I'm doing this instead. So I'll tell you, I had a smoothie Saturday night and I couldn't sleep. I was awake till one in the morning. I was so energized. This is not on caffeine, people. So, so the point of it is, if we take care of us, if we put good things inside, if we think loving, kind thoughts about ourselves, if we give to us, then we have the capacity then to send that out to others. And you know what? It's that beautiful cycle of being grateful for this, taking care of us, because who is going to take care of us if we don't? So number one rule, we can't expect someone else to do it for us, because <laughs> what we're doing is we're setting the tone for a relationship. If you don't have the ability to say no, no, I can't have that donut. No, I don't want that glass of wine because I know it's not good for me. If you're saying yes to things that aren't good for you, then you know maybe that relationship is gonna be off to a rocky start. So what we're doing here today, broccoli, broccoli. Broccoli is, it's a cruciferous vegetable. It's cancer preventing. It's an, an amazing vegetable. And I hear some people say, oh yes, but it gives me gas. Well, you know, here's the thing. The cleaner that your intestinal system is, the less gas you'll get. So it may initially, but it won't stay that way. So as you get more healthy and clean, <laughs> eating more cleanly, it will help you to not be that way. So I'm putting in half a banana. Now, Adam Gates, Naked Healthy, he's the one. He's been <laughs> trying to get me to do this. And I'll tell you, from Saturday night, so today is Tuesday or Monday? It's Monday. Wow. I got to say, my belly, I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> it's nearly flat. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days. Three days to a flat belly. So, <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming, and you <laughs> no, you don't want your goose getting fat. You want to take care of that goose. And so, avocado, yes, has fat, but it's this is considered a good fat. You want it. And what does it do? Vegetables will put collagen in your body 
in your in your body and then you'll radiate it'll make your face glow you'll look young radiant and healthy we need good fats very important i have to i have to put my glasses on marika to read what you're saying to me oh hi christy um so marika says that when she gave up dairy and i think you're are you saying that your skin started to glow or your belly went down which one is it marika i'll just wait for her to respond so okay so the other thing i'm putting in here is is kiwi kiwi is such an inexpensive fruit they are two for a dollar right now in california i don't know about elsewhere um but they are loaded with potassium and vitamin C. More vitamin C I hear, I think, than an orange. But lots of potassium. You definitely want to eat these if you can't eat bananas. But I'm putting both in. So here's the thing. The self-care is <laughs> it's so important because the better that you feel about you, the more radiant you are, the more attractive you become. Holy cow, Marika said that when she gave up dairy, her belly went flat. So that's what I'm working on because I happen to like my whipped cream and my coffee. I happen to like my half and half. But you know what? My mother's 95 and I have the potential to live to be 100. So I'm going to do everything in my power to be healthy until that day. So dairy is something that I have heard so many experts say we should not be doing any kind of dairy. Um, cheese, I know, melted cheese isn't good for me. I don't eat it. My father used to get pains in his elbows, and so he stopped eating cheese a long time ago. And um, so when I recognized that it was causing me some issues, I gave up cheese. But this past weekend... I was at uh, California Adventures, and it was difficult to get food without meat that didn't have cheese because some people seem to think that the only way you can get protein is to eat cheese, eat dairy. That's not true because you know what? These veggies have lots of protein in them, plenty of protein, and we don't need as much as the experts say we do. Okay, so I put some cucumber in there. And I'm putting power greens, lots of those. And these are all washed. Let's see what else, half a banana. Oh, and this, celery. The wonderful thing, I need to wash some of this. The wonderful thing about celery is that if you're constipated, it will help you. It puts moisture back in your intestines and um, you know it, it's loaded with water. So we have to be drinking enough water because it helps to flush out our organs. It keeps our skin radiant. It, it, <laughs> the thing about it is, if you're drinking caffeinated beverages, those dehydrate. A Coca-Cola, one soda, a Coke. I think it's something like seven gallons of water you have to drink to compensate for the amount that it dehydrates you. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. So I don't drink soda at all. But so we're going to put a stick of celery in here, a whole one. And I, I choose to cut it up because celery is a little stringy and I don't want to be eating all those strings in one piece. Okay, now we've got goats here, so I'm saving the banana peel for the goats. Like reindeer, they love the banana peel. There's a lot of goodness in the peel. Don't go away. So now I'm going to tell you about this little trick that Adam Gates showed me. So these are cacao nibs. And I got these at Sprouts. They're raw, organic. I love chocolate. Uh, I want to mention something that Marika has said. She said that her fibroids went down. Had fibroids and that helped them go down. Giving up dairy 
made the fibroids go away. Wow, that's amazing. So I'm putting some cacao nibs in here. These are organic. And I will tell you, don't do, <laughs> don't do a shake at night with cacao nibs because they will keep you awake. Um, these are uh, from, uh, I think it's from Peru, which they're amazing and loaded, loaded with antioxidants and antioxidants are cancer fighters and we want those. So I'm also putting flaxseed meal in. Flaxseed is, it's a omega-3, which is really important. It's good for the skin. I'm putting in a, I don't know, about a, I don't measure, tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Hello, Daniel. How are you, Jean-Claude? Bonjour. Comment ça va? And now, I couldn't get fresh berries, but I'll tell you, the frozen are just as good. And I'm putting a blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries in here. So this is some vegetables and some fruit. Nobody's watching me put my hand in here, right? Okay. So what else? Uh, cucumber nib. All right. All right, so something else that I discovered, you know, I am, I'm a, what they call a woman of a certain age, and I don't mind telling you how old I am. I'm, <laughs> I, I just heard, I wonder if my brothers are watching because I just heard somebody say I'm older than dirt. Well, it's some dirt. <laughs> I am 63, and uh, the, the, the reason I'm telling you this is I feel like I'm 18, and the food that we eat will help us to stay young and healthy and vibrant. And I don't believe in being old. I don't think old thoughts. I don't tell myself I'm old. As a matter of fact, it's the opposite. The mind messages that I am giving myself are, I'm young, vibrant, and beautiful. What are you telling yourself? We have got to exude what we put in. So if we're putting garbage in, garbage thoughts in, then, you know, who's going to want to be with us? We want to be loving to ourselves because the more loving we are to ourselves, the more capacity we have to receive love. And that is, a, that's way bueno. Very good. Okay. Got, so the other thing that I like to do is, um, these are beets. Now, I always buy the organic ones. I love beets. They're so good for you. And they cleanse the blood. So the darker vegetables. <laughs> Hello, Melanie. Oh, thank you, Melanie. <laughs> she said, I do look young. Thank you. Okay, um, I just got invited to go to Deeksha tonight. Yes, Shannon, I'll go. <laughs> That's taking care of the spirit part of us. And we have to do that too. So I meditate on a daily basis. I use mantras, you know, in the background of my mind to make myself feel better. And, you know, I'm not always at 100%. Pressure cook them. Sometimes, you know, we have to pick ourselves up. So when we do, we talk to people that can do that, help us with that. So you got to have people around you that help to support you and, and love you for who you are and can be positive your your little positive feedback loop because we all need that and okay speaking of self-care and self-love yeah beets are really good for you they're so good for the blood um something else that's really good for the blood these are a little dirty uh, the other thing that's really good for the blood is uh red grapes um, I don't eat grapes very often. I find them way too sweet for me, uh, but um, they are very good for, for purifying the blood. Okay, so since I am off dairy, I'm putting <laughs> coconut milk in this shake. And uh, when it's blended, it's, it's gonna be um, pretty dark and muddy looking. I'm gonna put some protein powder in there. Don't think I did that yet. And this is chocolate. 
chocolate is my favorite. And with the, with the nibs, it's really good. Now, I have a pineapple that's not quite ripe, but you could do pineapple too. And pineapple has bromelain in it. Bromelain is good for cell production. It's great for the skin. It's uh, as long as you're not allergic to it. Let me just see what we got here. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this quick and if you can just sort of silence your monitors because, oh, one thing I forgot. Put this aside. Chia seeds. So if you're not doing a lot of meat, which I am not, I am doing chia seeds and chia seeds are awesome. They get real fluffed up. And sometimes you want to put put them in um, like lemonade if you make homemade lemonade, and they get real plumped up, which is really good. And they are great for providing the body with iron, but they also are good for um, flushing out toxins, etc. Really good for the digestive system. So here we go. We're going to blend this sucker, and I have a ninja. I think it's the, the best blender on the market. So here we go. Sorry about the noise, everybody. but it, um, it's pretty, as you can see, it's pretty muddy looking, but you know, the darker the better because in that dark red, this is good health. It will make you feel alive. It will wake you up. So the purpose of this video is if we're not taking care of ourselves, how can we catch that big fish? If you're fishing with a broken rod, or if you've got a hole in your boat, how are you gonna catch your fish? You're gonna sink. So we've gotta, we've gotta do it for ourselves. We have to love us. And one of the ways that we love us is by filling our bodies with good nutrition and laying off the sweets. It's so easy if you feel down to reach for a cookie or reach for a donut but when we do, then we have that guilt or maybe even shame, and that's not good. So instead of reaching for the donut or the cookie, get something healthy. And I'm just going to go have my shake and go finish my book. So I'm just going to see, does anybody have any questions before we sign off here? Yeah, beets are great. Yeah, the, the cacao nibs, Marika just said, Adam put cacao nibs, that's what I did too. But if you're doing a smoothie at night, don't put them in. <laughs> Between, so there's so much aliveness in all these vegetables and in all the fruit, so it really charges you up. And so I wouldn't wanna do it later than eight o'clock and, and I wouldn't put the, don't put the cacao nibs in late because like I was up Saturday night or Sunday morning till one o'clock in the morning. But those things are amazing. And, you know, just putting those in, they may not blend completely. And uh, you may have to chew a little bit, but they are wonderful and full of antioxidants. We want lots of that in our body. So self-care involves movement. It involves loving touch. So I want to talk about that a little bit. So while you're in the shower, instead of slapping yourself with the soap, lovingly caress your body, rub your arms, rub your thighs, rub your belly. Do it lovingly as if you are your own lover. You know, because some of us are alone. And when you're alone and if you're not being touched, where do we get the touch from? We do it for ourselves. We lovingly touch us and even hug you. And you can. 
You know, it, it almost feels like somebody else is doing it for you. So self-care involves loving us, saying good things. I am enough. I am worthy. I love me. The world is a safe place for me. So all of those things will help you to be the magnet for that beautiful person out there. Giving and receiving. We don't want to give too much, but we have to be open to receive. Giving, receiving. It's this beautiful cycle, giving and receiving. And right now, I'm going to give to myself. I'm going to eat or drink my smoothie. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. You can check out my programs and my offerings on my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. And don't be afraid to send me an email at jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail.com if you'd like to see about maybe working with me and uh, having a free discovery session to find out more. I love you. Thanks for watching.